is very technical. I can do the robot. I can do the Darren walk. He's not an audience, Darren. Go on, dance on the floor in the round, baby. People always told me, be careful of what you do. Michael Jackson was the king of pop, the most successful entertainer of all time. That's right. With a career that lasted over 40 years, he produced such hits as Black or White, Billie Jean, Thriller, Beat It and many more. And his dance moves were legendary. Now he has a game named after him, Michael Jackson The Experience. Actually, Hex, Michael Jackson has featured in quite a few video games over the years. His first was called Moonwalker and it came out over 20 years ago. And it was pretty good. Hmm. Well, Michael Jackson The Experience has been out on the Wii since the end of last year, but now it's on the 360 and it uses the Kinect, which makes it a very different game. Yeah, it's kind of a mashup between SingStar and Dance Central. The Kinect very cleverly scans your whole body so that you actually appear in the game. Then you have to follow along with the dance moves and occasionally burst into song. Yeah, it's a real Zomagod moment when you see yourself scanned in for the first time and it's all ghostly and sparkling. I quite liked it. But then you start to move and you just can't sync up right. There's always a delay on screen with your current action. So there's always that lag and I couldn't get past that, Hex. Yeah, but I guess the technology is working pretty hard. So you can imagine that there would be a bit of a delay between your moves and what you see on the screen. Yeah, but that might be okay in a game where timing doesn't matter. But with a dancing game, it's pretty important. I also found it really hard concentrating on the guys either side of me who are teaching me the moves. You're smack bang in the middle and you're huge and that's great, but it's hard to follow exactly what they're doing. Yeah, but to be fair, I think this is the kind of game that you play more than once. So the idea is I think that you practice the dance a few times and then you don't have to focus on the little goon so much. I guess, but if a game wants me to do that, to practice and spend hours and hours learning all these moves, it better be good enough to make me want to come back. Yeah. Well, I love Michael Jackson and I love dancing too, so I was really excited to play this game, but I have to agree with you, Bajo, I was really disappointed. Mm. The track list is good, all of the big hits are on there, but the game itself isn't nearly as much fun as Dance Central. There is a mode called MJ School, but really it's just a good dancer repeating the steps in the videos. There's no breaking the moves down so that you actually are taught what to do, and there's very little connect interactivity that actually gives you feedback or progress on how you're doing. <sighs> I think the biggest problem with this game is that it does a really bad job of teaching you the moves. I mean, to be completely honest, I think I would have learnt a lot more watching Michael Jackson's real videos on the internet. And the scoring is a bit wacky. It's super forgiving. And in fact, I got through most of the songs just by doing my painted and banjo walk. And if you have the volume of the TV loud enough, the game pretty much plays itself because the Kinect microphone will pick up the song, so you don't even need to sing. Affirmative. And didn't you think it odd that during the singing parts, you just stopped dancing? The King of Pop himself never did that. There is a multiplayer party mode, but it's one of those take turns at the end of the song kind of mm. things. So, I don't know, it would have been better if you could sort of jump in and jump out, because the Kinect does actually have the ability to recognise who's playing, so I don't know why they didn't make use of that. Mm. I think the final straw for me, Hex, was when it asked me to do the lean and smooth criminal. Michael Jackson actually had specific shoes that clipped onto the stage for that one, so the game is totally cheating. I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan, so it makes me totally sad, you know it, to that, that I can only give this 5 out of 10. Well, I think the technology is exciting. I like seeing my sparkly self dancing in the game, and I spent a lot of time just watching myself in the menus. But I don't know, I think we're going to see this technology used a lot better in, in games to come. So it's only a 5 for me as well.